Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix access of creation game stuck on loading screen or not loading error on PC. So let's go through it. The very first method is to check system requirements. For that, after searching for the game on Steam, now go below and here you will uh, see the system requirements to play the game. Make sure your PC have all the required specs and after that try to play the game and check. If not, next solution is to restart your PC. For that click on the windows icon over here. Now click on power then select restart. So this will restart your PC. Once your PC restarts, now check and launch the game and to see if it's working or not. If not, next to the if not, move to the next solution. Next method is to modify launch options. So for that, go to Steam under library section, select your game. Here I am showing you an example. Right click on it, click on properties. Now click under general here, you have to type minus DX11 and then launch the game and check if it's working or not. If not, again come back, type minus DX12 and then try to launch the game and check whether it's working or not. If this also doesn't resolve the issue, come back, remove the launch option and move to the next solution. Next, now next method is to run game from installation folder. For that, go to Steam, under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on manage, now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed. Select the game application and double click on it and then check whether it's opening or not. If not, you have to run the game as administrator for that right click on it. Click on properties. Now click on compatibility and here you have to select run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and OK and then launch the game and check if it's working. If not, again come back, select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then if hit on apply and we can launch the game if not click on disable full screen optimizations click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check whether it's working or not if the issue still occurs come back uncheck all of these hit on apply and ok and then move to the next solution now next method is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on firewall network protection click on allow an app through firewall click on change settings after that here you have to search whether your game is listed or not if not click on allow another app click on browse now go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list after adding it select it make sure both public and private boxes are ticked and then click on ok now after that launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not, next is to update your graphics card. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for device manager. Now here, expand display adapters, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So this will check and update your graphics drivers. Once done, now launch the game and check if it's working. NVIDIA and AMD users go through the link already given in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next solution is to verify integrity of game files. For that, go to uh, Steam. Under library section, select your game. Right click on it. Click on properties. Now click on install files. And then click on verify integrity of game files. So this will verify the game files. Once game files are verified, launch the game and check. If not, next method is to run SFC scan. So for that, uh, I have already provided this code in the description. You just have to go to the Windows search and search for command prompt. After that, copy and paste the command and press enter. So doing this will scan for any corrupted system files and replace them automatically. And hopefully you can play the game after that. If not, next is to check graphic settings of the game. So when a graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution, anti-aliasing, etc. Then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue. Next solution is to disable third party overlay applications. If there is any third party overlay applications enabled such as Nvidia Shadowplay or MSI Afterburner, then you should disable it. This can lead to unexpected issue while playing the game. Next solution is to update windows. For that, go to the windows search. Now search for check for updates. This will take you to the windows update page. Here you have to click on check for updates option here you will get the option of check for update click on it and it will check if any update is available after updating your windows to the latest version now try to play the game and check if not next method is to clear download cache so for that go to steam 
now click on steam option then click on settings then go to the uh, go to downloads and here after that go below and here you can see clear download cache beside it you can see clear cache simply click on it and you will get a pop-up saying this will clear your local download cache and restart steam you will need to log into steam again so you just have to confirm it and after confirming it restart your steam log into it and then try to play the game and check whether it's working or not if not next method is to install visual c++ files so for that copy and paste this link in the on your browser that i have already provided in the description now after the website opens go below from here you have to click on the link this will download the visual c++ files click on it to open you will get a repair or install option click on repair and wait for some time after you get a setup successful message close this after closing now restart your pc once after your pc restarts launch the game and check whether you can play it if not next is to change virtual memory settings so for that go to the windows search search for view advanced system settings click on settings now click on advanced then click on change now here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed after that select custom size here you have to type 1 double 2 double 8 and in the maximum size you have to type 2 4 5 7 6 click on set and then click on ok once done launch the game and check whether it's working now if not next method is to disable in-game overlays so steam users go to steam click on settings now click on in game and here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game option if it is enabled you have to click on it to disable it once done try to launch the game and check same for geforce experience users open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general and from here switch off in game overlay options from here for discord overlay go to the user settings game overlay tab and switch off enable in game overlay options next is to disable antivirus program or firewall so if you are having any antivirus program then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues so what you need to do is go to the windows search search for windows security now here you have to click on virus and threat protection go below click on manage settings and here you have to turn off real time protection so you have to make sure you turn it off and once done again go to the windows search now search for windows defender firewall click on turn windows defender firewall on or off and here you have to select turn off windows defender firewall in both public and private network settings then click on ok and then launch the game and check but make sure you come back later on and you have to select turn on windows defender firewall in both public and private network settings and then later on check it whether it's working or not if not next method is to install directx on your system so for that copy the link that i have already provided in the description and paste it in your browser after the website opens click on the download option and this will download the directx on your system after that install it once the directx is installed now try to play the game and check whether it's working or not if not next method is to run game or dedicated graphics card for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings now here you have to add your game to the list so for that click on add desktop app now go to the game uh, folder where your game has been installed after that once the game is added here you have to check for the game and after that click on the arrow icon now under gp preference you have to select high performance and after selecting high performance launch the game and check if this also doesn't resolve then the final solution is to reinstall as a soft creation game for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely remove the game from your pc after that restart your pc once once your pc restarts launch steam and again reinstall as of creation game once again and click on the play button to check whether it's launching or not